Hey, hey, Mario Rodriguez here. Got some random news I discovered a couple of minutes ago. Just going online, trying to find new subscription boxes because, you know, most of the classics are either gone or they get bought out or, or they're becoming quarterly now and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I was very surprised to find out that WrestleCrate is also bought out by Pro Wrestling Tees. I say Pro Wrestling Tees because they also own Pro Wrestling Crate. So, just like that wrestling club... I think last month, I think it was, uh, I think the date was March 18th when they went to uh, the Pro Wrestling Tees or whatever. Now, WrestleCrate, which is possibly the premier wrestling subscription box, is also owned by Pro Wrestling Tees. And yeah, I believe two to three years ago when the whole subscription box thing kind of exploded with uh, Loot Crate and Nerd Block, you know how it is. Everyone just had to jump on the bandwagon and whatever, make their own boxes of some sort. I think WrestleCrate was the first one ever, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's the first one ever. That was based on wrestling. And um, yeah, I was always kind of curious. It was kind of cheap. It was also like 20 bucks or so. You could get like a bigger box that cost more. And um, some of the items are kind of so-so. Some of the shirts and stuff. Some of the things are kind of like, like, uh, like you know, they, they kind of try to get away with not mentioning a lot of big names. So they, I guess not to pay loyalties or whatever. I don't know. But um, the last couple of months going to 2019, the quality went up. I was seeing, like, more badass shirts. I was seeing, you know, more badass, like, figures, like, actual action figures and stuff. And I was like, damn, I got to get that box. Like, I was so curious. I really wanted to get that box, at least for a video. And I guess now my chance is gone. I mean, whatever. They got bought out now. So, um, yeah, the big, the big unstoppable juggernaut of Pro Wrestling Tees owns Pro Wrestling Crate, that wrestling club, and Wrestle Crate, and... It also, again, I ask about the fans. I don't know what they're going to think about it because, again, um, just like the, that wrestling club, WrestleCrate also deals with more modern-day wrestlers like AJ Styles and Roman Reigns and John Cena and all the stuff like that, you know. Um, yeah, you know, all the big names that are currently in modern wrestling today. While Pro Wrestling Crate deals more with, like, the older, the older veterans from WWF back when it was still called WWF. And also the indies like the Young Bucks and Kenny Omega and Kota Ibushi and stuff like that. People that are very big in the indies, but people that only like watch WWF, WWE are not going to know who they are or care. So I'm kind of curious about that. And also, um, yeah, the rest of Creed has like legit Funko Pops and like the big action figures and stuff. So you're not going to get that anymore because Pro Wrestling Crate deals with like just pure unique stuff only for that company. And they also got like, these micro builder figures that are kind of cool. They're unique. They're, they're awesome. But I don't know if people are going to think about that. And, um, yeah, so they, the website explains the uh, WrestleCrate had all their, like, multiple tiers and stuff. So they're going to explain how those tiers translate into the tiers that uh, the Pro Wrestling Tees has. Because, of course, Pro Wrestling Tees has the cheap heat, the mid card, and, of course, the main box. And you are going to get your 10% discount on the Pro Wrestling Tees like any other subscriber. And you also get the, um, you know, the little micro builder figures and stuff like that. If you care about the micro builder figures. But I'm kind of curious what the overall fan base thinks about it. I do know that some fans of that wrestling club were kind of disappointed. They were posting like, oh, come on, dude, whatever, you know. So I don't know about the WrestleCrate fan base. But um, personally, I feel disappointed because I wanted to check out the WrestleCrate before it left. I had no idea it was going to go away. And, um, yeah, what can I say? Pro Wrestling Tees is like the big juggernaut. Like the only one they're possibly not able to buy out. But who knows, right? Is WWE Slam Crate that, of course, belongs to Loot Crate and, you know, to WWE. So I doubt they'll buy that out. But who knows? Next month they make a video. Oh, my God. They got bought out, too. But they're like the, they're the ones to beat. They're like the Monopoly. They're going to, like, own any independent wrestling box out there, right? I guess, right? So, um, yeah, it's Mark Rodriguez here. I'll keep you posted. I guess if you're a subscriber. And that's another thing. I'm curious. If any of you guys are subscribers of that wrestling club and wrestling crate, Wrestle Crate, and you guys are now getting the Pro Wrestling Crate. What do you think? Do you like it? Is it better? Is it worse? Did you wish it went like back to four? Should maybe, like maybe they, they have like a different division. Maybe, maybe they just have a division that's based on Pro Wrestling Crate. Keep it the same and a separate division for the people that were fans of Wrestle Crate and that wrestling club with more modern day wrestlers. I don't know. That's an idea, but I don't know. Like a different tier for modern day people and then like the indies and classic veterans. Could be an idea. I don't know. But yeah, if any of you guys out there actually had the old boxes and now you're trying out Pro Wrestling Crate, what do you think? You like it? Don't like it? What are your thoughts? Anyways, guys, Marco Drew is here. I'll keep you posted for any weird updates or any more changes. See what other things have happened. I'm surprised I missed the memo on that one. So this is like a late video. You guys like probably already know, but just call me by surprise. 
I'm like, holy shit, like the unstoppable juggernaut of pro wrestling tees are going to buy out all the wrestling boxes. WWE Slam Crate, you're next, basically. Like Goldberg, you're next, right? So anyways, guys, uh, yeah, see you next time and see what happens.